the President of the United States. I have come here tonight not only to address the distinguished men and women in this great chamber, but to speak frankly and directly to the men and women who sent us here. While our economy may be weakened and our confidence shaken, it is a crisis of confidence. The fact is, our economy did not fall into decline overnight. These changes did not happen overnight. That is why this administration is moving swiftly and aggressively to break this destructive cycle, to restore confidence. Restoring that faith and that confidence to America. It's a plan that won't help speculators or that neighbor down the street who bought a house he could never hope to afford. There will be people that made bad decisions that in some ways will get help. How many of you people want to pay for your neighbor's mortgage? Raise their hands. We know big government does not have all the answers. This plan will require significant resources from the federal government. The era of big government is over. President Obama, are you listening? My job, our job, is to solve the problem. Some are promising that government will rescue us from the economic storms raging all around us. We have our doubts. I know there are some in this chamber and watching at home who are skeptical. If we do everything right, there's still a 30% chance we're going to get it wrong. We will also end the tax breaks for the wealthiest 2% of Americans. The worst deficit comes from a recession. And if we can take the proper action in the proper time, this can be the most important step we could take to prevent another recession. That is the right kind of a tax cut. I know that it's easy to lose sight of this truth, to become cynical and doubtful, consumed with the petty and the trivial. Republican leaders are playing politics instead of doing what's right. Call the Republican leadership. Tell them no is not an option. But in a time of crisis, we cannot afford to govern out of anger. What do you think a stimulus is? That's the whole point. The president warned that our country is facing a crisis. I'm here today to talk about a crisis. We've inherited an economic crisis. A failure to act could turn a crisis into a catastrophe. Don't let anyone tell you that America's best days are behind it. Slowly but surely. Little by little. Confidence will return. We can and we must rebuild our confidence. And our economy will recover.